Okay, I guess it's recording, so I'll start. I'm doing this for a class at Azusa. Anyhow, my topic is on linguistic learner, or excuse me, linguistic intelligence, which is called word smart intelligence because it balances its whole existence on the foundation of language. The skills include three parts, which are oral, written, and nonverbal skills. Examples of teaching and learning best suited for this intelligence would be the following. Young children love to learn through uh, imitation. They copy others' verbal skills. My son, for example, he copies everything we say and re regurgitates it. And they do copy the nonverbal communication skills. Some get, uh, or excuse me, some remember written information through organizing lists. In mnemonic devices, some are good listeners and also they spell very good. Many adults use word puzzles, read independently, web browse, enjoy books to sharpen their skills. Many are good at taking notes. Therefore, those folks are best suited in a lecture setting. They are not afraid to ask questions. These people are also critical to grammar and speller spelling errors. Uh, let's see what else we have. Technology best suited for these learners are the following. Basically, any technology that helps students read, write, listen, and speak is beneficial, such as recording mini lessons, uh, downloading vocabulary and key concepts to an MP3 player, interactive writing sites, audio books, podcasts, and vodcasts, and uh, obviously. That's what I'm doing here. This is the first time I do it. And last, they allow them to record themselves reading the text out loud. And they listen to those, uh, any errors, and they correct them. And, uh, I guess that's it. That wraps it up for what I, the research I did on that topic. Thank you for listening to this, and uh, that'll be it.